A deep freeze that is being felt on both sides of the border. And here in our country, more than 30 million Canadians are dealing with a polar vortex from Saskatchewan right through to the eastern border, Quebec, into New Brunswick. If you are watching us in places like Vancouver, Victoria, Calgary, things are not so bad. But, of course, for the rest of the country, very, very cold. Environment Canada has issued extreme cold warnings for a big chunk, and anyone who is outside in that chunk of Canada is being warned to be extra careful. Listen to this. I've got more than enough layers on, although I wish I was wearing more pants. Yeah, Toronto's not used to this sort of thing. Uh, Ottawa, Montreal, more so. Some areas of the country could see wind chill values plunging to more than minus 50, such as Winterpeg in southern Ontario. It'll feel like minus 35, which is presenting a challenge for people working outdoors. So cold in certain cities in Canada that pipes have burst over the last few days. Some cases there have been regionalized power outages as well. Manitoba is experiencing the worst cold in a decade. I use the joke Winterpeg, of course, is a reason why that nickname applies. Environment Canada has issued an extreme cold warning for the city with a wind chill values of minus 50 expected. And that's where we're going to check in right now with CTV's Gabrielle Marchand, who's braving all the temperatures out there today. Gabrielle. Winnipeg still under an extreme cold warning and with it Winnipeg are seeing bitterly cold temperatures this morning in Winnipeg feeling closer to the minus 50s. There's a projected daytime high of minus 30 today that will feel closer to minus 43 with the wind chill and it's having an effect on drivers. CAA Manitoba says it's seen a record number of calls for service over the past few days. 6,400 calls for service over the past seven days. On Tuesday, they saw over 3,000 calls for service. To put that into perspective, on average, they see 300 to 600 calls for service on a winter day. And because of that, they've actually suspended at-home service. They're having their resources focus on people in emergency situations who need a tow or a battery boost. Waits for cabs are also long in Winnipeg. Very few people outside in these conditions. The Winnipeg Regional Health Authority is advising people to stay inside, stay warm, and keep skin covered because exposed skin can lead to frostbite within minutes in these temperatures. Meanwhile, Winnipeg not expecting to see a reprieve from the cold until Friday. When we're going to see a balmy high of minus 12. <laughs> CTV's Gabrielle Marchand for us there in Winnipeg, where it is very cold, probably the coldest in the country right now. We just want to show you some of the temperatures we're talking about here. Uh, you see Winnipeg there right in the middle, minus 51. Regina, not much better, minus 43. Thunder Bay, minus 41. Uh, even in Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, not bad, of course. Montreal, minus 15, but Toronto, very cold. Extreme cold, uh, basically from about midway through Saskatchewan right through to eastern Quebec and down into southwestern Ontario as well.